and then there was two. That one I've decided I'm just going to uh, slot it like a normal tool holder <coughs> and uh, I'm going to put a, a push tool in it, you know, like a, just a bar with a couple of bearings, one on each end. I used to have one before and they're quite handy actually. So now we get to the hmm, parting off plate. Right, I'll tell you what my thinking is and we'll see how we get on, <laughs> whether it works or not. I've had this on the surface grinder because top and bottom of it, it had some right funny angles. I suppose it was most probably made like that for a certain type of tool holder. But what I'm going to try and do is replicate that but with the difference in I'm going to machine the slot down the middle of the body for this to sit into at I think it's 1.3 degrees to match up with the degrees on the on the high speed steel there so it, so it sits flat like that well it sits plumb anyway uh, once I've got that machined out I've got to we can see on this one let's show just there you can most probably see it's it's cut at an angle where the blade sits in, top and bottom. So I'm going to try to mill that bit, mill a section out there, and then I'm going to see if I can either do it with a dovetail cutter, or if not, I may have to grind the cutter up and put it on the shaper and do it, and and cut that that angle in there, top and bottom, so we can hold it. But you see how this one has got the plate right across the top and three bolts in it, well I can't do that because by the time I've got the adjusting screw in the middle here I won't have enough meat left over. Had I thought about this earlier I could have used one of the uh, wider tool holders and I could have done it all like that but I'm not too worried. You'll see on the top there where I've got that marked out just with a bit of a blue sharpie. I'm going to machine a square out of there, about 20 mil by 20 mil, something like that. And if you imagine, once that squares out, that'll be in its slot. And I'm going to make up a new square to go in there, and it's going to be shaped a little bit like that, if that makes any sense. So that when you put, when the bolt goes through the middle and clamps it down. It's going to push you onto the top. Where I've got a bit of a, another angle the other side, it won't be like that, I don't think. It'll be more of a, 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 a square end on it. And I may even cut, maybe pen that, my screwdriver even. What I may do is, I may cut a slight square in there, like that. Maybe like the width of the end of that screwdriver. And that make that square as well so it drops in there. We'll whack an M10 bolt through there or 3 8 and I'm hoping that that will do it. Uh, I don't suppose we're going to know till we've done it so I'll get this on the milling machine. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to hold that now to put it wants a slight angle in it. I may have to hold it that way and in the vise that way tilt it slightly and machine backwards and forwards. I'm going to take that down to how wide is that? So that blade's 4mm. Uh, the one in there, I think it's 3, yeah that's 3mm. But if you look at the depth of the slot, I can find a way of measuring it without making myself look a donut. The depth of that slot is around about six and a half mil. So I think what I maybe do is our tool blank is four mil thick, our parting tool. So I think I'll machine that slot six mil deep and then I'll lay that in there and see what it looks like. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So how wide is that? Yeah, that's uh, what's that? 23 mil near as damn it wide. 
uh, what's that in old money? Uh, three quarters of an inch. Right, uh, let's get it on a mill and see what happens. Right, we're centred up. So let's we'll sit that way. So I think I'm going to try and go pour six mil deep, uh, 22.8 mil wide, and then we'll just see if that just drops in there nicely. Uh, I'm just hoping that when it's done, I've got enough travel, you know, up and down on the adjuster to. Uh, get centre height, should do. So, right. Let's touch it there. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do this by hand. <laughs> yeah. So that's a, that's a 16 mil carbide end mill. Um, we'll run it about a thousand revs of it. See what she does, shall we? Uh, what should we take first? Uh, well, actually, that's six mil uh, divided by twenty-five point four equals so two hundred and thirty-six there. Give or take a couple of tenths. So let's try. Uh, Let's try 50 pounds, see where that gets. <laughs> Sharpened, so it should be alright. We be chewing that out of there. Not nearly tall pressure on it. Chips are golden.
Right, just going to uh, find the adjustable parallels and get a measurement out of there and we'll work out what our uh, offset either side is and then we'll have another one. Fifteen point six six is what we've got. Right, so the blade is twenty two point five one. Twenty two point five one. The line's fifteen point six six equals six point eight five. Divide that by two. Well, 3.425 mil off each side. 3.425. I think what we'll do, we'll go for, just because we can, we'll go for 3.4 first. What is the table would do? side and then we'll run back down the other. Twenty-two point. Can't see it because of the bloody light. It's like twenty-two three nine. There's a sticky spot right on the end of this bloody micrometer. Twenty-two three eight.
Right, 55 degree dovetail cutter that is. It's the only one I've got small enough that will drop in the slot. I think it will drop in the slot. Right, I'll just zero the knee. It's about 500. Huh? Is that edge or comes up to that edge if you see what I mean. But I don't want to come any further than I have to because I think it might just make it weak. Right, so it only wants to come up. Doesn't need to come up much more than that don't. Right. If I uh, if that little blue mark disappears should be about there. Check. 
Yeah, that should be alright. A uh, bit of a pain that you end up with a, such a gap at the top, but there's not an awful lot you can do about that. Alright, well, uh, what's next? I'm going to machine this front corner up, haven't I? So, just so I don't balls it up so I get the right bit that I want off. Piece wants to come out. Right, I'll get this uh, set up and have a look. Right, 16mm mm mil. <coughs> when I cut that out, 20 mil square. I have got some scribe lines on there, I shouldn't think you can see them on the camera. Uh, my offset's 12 mil. Uh, I picked up that side edge in this edge, so. What I'm going to do is just rough out as much as I can down to this depth and then I'm going to find my smallest little end mill and just come in and clean the edges up and get as close as I can is, uh, is my plan anyway. So we'll see how we get on. That's a hundred pound deep that is.
see what I can find in the way of a small end mill just to take that last bit out now. Uh, let's have a look through the box see what I've got. Got a six mil bit there. I've just uh, just been working out for the offset and everything. Right? It's not particularly difficult. So I'm I'm actually 23 mil in from this edge and from that edge, and I want to go straight down. I've set my depth stop on the quill, so I'm hoping that uh, a little bit of uh, fluid here, I can just go straight down with this end mill, down to depth, then pull out and then just trim the, in the insides of it. We'll see. I'll be putting any pressure on that at all. Letting it do its own thing. Just a high speed steel, so it's not, uh, you know, it's not a little bit steady. should be 17 mil. Seventeen mil or six sixty-nine, whichever is your persuasion. Right, I'll take this back to seventeen now. Something wrong with my motor at the other end. Uh, oh, wait. Right, so we're 17 17 now. So I'm hoping that. Oh, I'll just have to get that. Right, we'll try again, shall we? See if we can sneak that lot out that back edge without snapping the milling cutter off. I'm running it at 12.50. Got a little clean up cut to do all the way around, so. Very slowly, I think.
thought it was a trap in one bus line. tap in the middle of there for an M10 and then when that's done that block will be finished and then I've got to machine a block up to go in there to clamp down on the uh, on the cutter but I think that'll be for another time because it's getting late and uh, what time is it? yeah I've got to get dinner on Right, I think we'll call it a wrap on that and then uh, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>